Hi, I'm Larry, and welcome back to this pastel project called Monarch. Um, hopefully you're able to have gotten your own, own projects up to this point. This will probably, with any luck at all, be the final installment of this uh, project here. Uh, it, I'm down to just adding the details to it. So I'm going to come up. Now I've got this, this color. This is kind of a light lavender. One of the things I want you to notice on here is that a lot of the little spots on this animal are not white. These are probably the whitest things on here. But these are more of a of a lavender or a light blue so you can you can use that and and you don't you know you don't need to be perfect putting these spots on um, because nobody's gonna know I, I tell people that it, it isn't now this is a fairly soft pastel and I'm, ju I'm just going to come in here. I'm looking at my reference photo and putting in some dots. Some of the dots are in the black part and other dots are in the um, orange or brown parts. If you don't mess with this, if you just put the chalk down and you don't mess with it, it will be fine. Um, it's when you start messing with it that, that you'll get them muddy. Now I'm sure that these butterflies, their markings are as individual as they are. There may be some idea of patterns. I'm just, just kind of lightly touching these. Now I'm going to switch and I'm going to take my white. I'll try not to get into the picture too much. Same thing. These are just just spots. They're they're not You know, you don't have to be exact. You just have to make some small ones and some bigger ones. Create that that idea. I can put some of the lighter color dots here. Now I've kind of got outside of my my black here, but that's not a big problem. I'll just kind of bring some of that black in around it. You know, each one of these animals is going to be a little bit different. I'll just take my white this time. Make some of these maybe a little brighter. Okay, that's about it for spots. I'm going to take and this is my black again, and I think I'll start at the butterfly and 
work out. Just got a couple of antenna and there's also a mouth part there. Now I wanted to do that first because I'm going to be putting the flower parts over top of this. And I take that same color I just used for the the wings back here, from some of the dots on the wings, starting at the flower and pulling out. These are kind of soft and fuzzy. Don't be afraid to overlap. I'm just kind of pushing. They kind of come out at they're kind of looking like my hair right now, coming out at all all angles. Now I'm just going to do a, a few of these, and then I'll break and and come back in and and show you the next phase of this. For me, pastel works works up really fast, but if if you are new or just unsure, you know, take your time. You don't need to work this fast. I'm, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, so, you know, as, as you build up your skills, you also build up some speed. Don't be afraid to pull some of this over the top of your butterfly because it's sitting down in in amongst these flowers. That's why I wanted to do the butterfly first so that I could pull up. Now I'm going to switch colors. Um, I've got a little bit lighter version that I can pull up. What I was looking for. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, here's a here's a color. This is a little bit darker version. There's gonna be all all colors in here. Darker version is probably a little more towards the the center. But I'm yeah, let me show you here. I'm trying not to do a straight line. I want them kind of curved. Can you see that? I'm making them kind of curved and overlapping. So I'm going to be using about three different colors of of purple on this, or or lavender color. I want to get you can't get too many of these in here unless you get it real solid. But you want to get as many in here so that it looks congested. These little flowers have a lot of little thin. thin petals that go all over the place. And they overlap each other, they entangle. So, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of, bit of a break here and I'm going to finish that off and and get all all my colors in so I'll be right back okay I've got most of that 
uh, all those little flower petals in. One of the things, now that I'm doing kind of the brighter ones, sometimes we start doing something and it feels really good and we get carried away. My suggestion is to just hit these right at the tops with the, with the light. It's mostly going to be your intermediate lavender colors on here and just a, a little bit of, of the light coming up. Like I said, don't be, don't be afraid to come in over the top of the, the butterfly so it looks like he's settled down in there. But for the most part, whenever you're painting, regardless of whether it's pastels or whatever, it's kind of a good rule of thumb that most of your colors is, are going to be the, the middle tones. And then the next, next value is going to be your darker tones. And then the, the last but not least will be your your lighter tones. I can put some of this in the back back here just a little bit to show some light but I want to make sure that I just take and tap that in and and lighten it a little bit so that it's not not too bright because remember this is in the distance and as things go in the distance they become softer and grayer in color. I don't want it want to distract or detract from what I've got going here. Since this is purple, I think I'll just add a little bit brighter to my little fella there. Now at this point, um, you know, you get to, to decide how much of this you want to put in. You know, I want to make it a little bit different shape right in there, so I'll pull up some of those, add some more of the, the middle, middle tones. So I'm trying to get a, a nice shape in here. And if I need to, I can come back in and like maybe put another flower head down here. Put a little bit of pink in there. Maybe it's just starting to open up and come and I'm going right over flowers, I'm going right over petals and and leaves just to, just to give it a little bit different shape this is my light not too much of that in there but I, I want it to be a little bit fuller. And if I want to at this point in time, I think I'm done. I'm always surprised when I'm, you know, when, when I find myself doing this, looking for a place to land, with my chalk or my paintbrush or something, I know that I'm I'm to a point where I can call it done, and you know I can sign it if I if I feel like it. So this is it. This is Monarch. This has been a pastel. I hope that you've enjoyed painting it and that you'll want to come back and try some more pastel. Pastels are fun and you do get your hands dirty. You know, I'll have to go and, and wash. But until next time, remember that you can find, find information in an equipment list of sorts on my blog spot along with, with a link to where you can find the, the photograph and the drawing for this. So just follow the, the blog spot 
and make sure that you check in on your family and friends, stay safe, you know, check on your neighbors, and most of all, keep painting, and I hope to see you in class again real soon. Thank you for watching.